Now let's talk about some restrictions that there are with Sculptors Pro. Sculptors Pro has a lot of really cool stuff you can do with it, but there are some things that you're not going to be able to do with it. Uh, number one, let's talk about alpha. So we've got our Z sphere here. So let's say, let's go ahead and turn on polyframe. Let's hit B, C, and we'll go to the one of these chisel brushes. You remember vector displacement. If you're not familiar with this, go to my description and there's my link to my YouTube channel playlists. Go down here to ZBrush 4R8, what's new, and that'll go ahead and walk you through not only the new custom gizmo and, and live booleans, it also goes into the chisel strokes and the vector displacement meshes here and how to create those and what they mean. Long story short, if we go B, C, and we take this, take this chisel creature thing and we go over here and we select this ear two, and then we drag it out, and let's go ahead and turn off uh, colorize here so we're just sculpting. We can even turn off MRGB if we wanted to. So if we use this, we're going to see the ear is only going to be able to pick up this much resolution in this area. So you may be thinking, well, can we turn on Sculptures Pro Mode in the answer Pro Mode? And the answer is no. Uh, that's actually grayed out. So with alphas and vector displacement alphas, we're not able to use Sculptures Pro. Now there is something you can do, and that's something we talked about before. You can hold down Shift. Shift has Sculptures Pro available to us, so we can use Shift to increase density in this area. And let's hold down shift and make that undivide ratio in our stroke menu one. That'll give us even more density. And we can even take the subdivide size and drop that down. So we can continue to just add density in this area. So now that we know this is the area we wanna pull out that vector displacement from. So even though we can't use Sculptures Pro to dynamically tessellate as we drag through this area, we can at least get a better higher resolution result when we drag through here, just by simply smoothing and tessellating in, this, in the area that we want. So again, we're not able to do it over here, but you can prep the area and then drag through and that'll kind of give you a little bit of a closer area in there. So let's go ahead and hit undo. And the exact same thing with alpha brushes. So if I go to B, C, and then choose this chisel rect, these are objects in here. And again, go to my ZBrush 4R8, what's new? I go all over how to set these kind of brushes up. But you can choose any one of these alpha brushes and then when you drag out, you're going to see it's only, it's not tessellating the mesh on the fly because Sculptures Pro mode is turned off. However, just like before, you can subdivide this area first and then you can drag through and get the resolution you want. And of course, you can drop that Z intensity down and give you that result. So instead of this, you're able to get this, you just have to prep the area first. Now there is a caveat to this. If you change it from a drag rec stroke to a drag dot, it's going to give you the same result. Let's go ahead and hit L to take off uh, lazy radius. If you have it turned on, so you're going to see we're getting very low res. It's not tessellating on the fly. However, we shift smooth to tessellate this area first, and then we drag out. You're going to see we're getting a little higher resol resolution result, so we can prep that area to use drag dot. But just like drag rec, you have to prep the area first. If we change it to a freehand stroke, it's, uh, it is going to drag that alpha through, but it's going to give us the same result. It's not tessellating on the fly. However, let's go back to our standard brush here. We'll select, by default, there's not going to be an alpha in there. If you go through here and select that star alpha, you're going to see Sculptures Plus, Plus mode is still available. If we switch over to freehand, it's still available. So now this one will tessellate on the fly with that alpha. So dots and freehand stroke will allow you to do this. I'm not quite sure why the uh, chisel rec didn't allow us to, but for example, you can use, say, the standard brush with an alpha selected. Let's go ahead and turn on Z, add, turn off RGB, and we'll crank that Z intensity up so you can see as we're sculpting through, we are able to tessellate on the fly with an alpha. We just can't use drag rect. It's, that's gonna revert back to non-sculptors pro mode. It doesn't look great out, but it isn't gonna tessellate on the fly. But again, if we go back to dot stroke or a freehand stroke, that will tessellate on the fly. So that's a caveat to using alphas with brushes.